watching myself on this YouTube, perhaps just because of lack of microphone, proper microphone, I started to look at myself as like having a severe speech impediment, being barely audible. This has happened all my life. People have asked me to repeat myself and I've been inaudible. So, you know, some people just uh, don't need to appear on camera. Some people, you know, their purpose in life is not to act, not to appear in public, not to do the public speaking. I just want you to know um, self-confidence can improve, and that's another whole thing, and improving your self-confidence and using hypnosis and auto-suggestion to get out of some of these difficulties is totally possible, but we also have to recognize ourselves as who we are. We have to accept ourselves as who we are, and so not everyone needs to face the public. I think in in school we're taught that we need a kind of a job that faces the public, like most of the jobs that are available at the lower strata are such jobs. And we're taught that we, you know, generally must fit into this system. We generally must talk in such a way and we generally have to go along with it. But in reality, like we're all different, okay, um, I could have a strange speech pathology, I could have a strange accent, I could even have a legitimate speech impediment. It doesn't matter, though, I could do anything in life. I'm not limited to just this, I'm not limited to just speaking on camera, I'm not limited to making YouTube videos. Of course, this may be a reason why people like me aren't uh, seeing any views, because of the voice, you know, and um, if that's the case, if you just find that you're inaudible, people don't hear you, you have to repeat yourself, maybe seek something else, seek another way to express yourself. My iPad has all sorts of applications that I can use with uh, Apple Pencil to create media, to draw, Cartoons, even. Cartoons don't have to have great illustration behind them. They just need to have a premise and an idea, or comics, or graphic novels, drawings that represent life. The rest is easy. So telling a story with words is why I went to college and got this creative writing degree. So there are, are alternatives, like coding is another alternative. There are many jobs. If you feel that you're in this bubble where you're just not able to get by in the system because the system only takes certain personalities of people, almost type A's are like dominant in the whole entire system for graduate school, for the good jobs, you know, for, for everything, for like uh, making a decent living. That's simply not the case. Also, we are our own worst critics. Like, I come from Boston, and uh, generally I take for granted a certain way of speaking that I taught myself over time, but in reality, like, I'm from New England, and I have some of that accent, and that's going to come out. Um, actually, my parents have a fair amount of accenture. My dad has a fairly heavy uh, New England accent, you know, and... Um, I've been to all different places, and I just want to fit in in all of these places. But in reality, you're not going to, and you're going to carry your region with you a little bit. You're not going to be universal to everyone, like, right away. Eventually, you can get to the point where you can reach more and more of an audience, but you don't have to be Mr. or Miss Universal. Just pointing that out. And you can put some of those defects or some of those supposed disabilities to use by finding a better way of living. Some of us don't even have to exist within the working world. Like, um, there are people with intellectual disabilities who have to rely on some sort of system, a social system, to take care of them for their lives because 
you know, while they may eventually be functional enough to work a job, they are not the most functional of people. So where are you in your life? And what is your level of ability? And what can you do with it is the main thing. And what do you want to accomplish? And make realistic goals also. Don't try to make goals that like, a, like for me to consider, to imagine being president of the United States uh, with no law degree and even with a law degree to imagine myself getting a law degree is just at this point unlikely. Now, five years down the road, when I've worked on myself, coached myself, listened to myself speak and tried to improve, that's possible. But again, stick to realistic goals. It's not going to happen in this lifetime. Certain things are not going to happen. So for me, that cartooning will be something. And that creative writing will be something. You may never see me on camera. I could choose not to go on camera again, you know, I could, I could say I'm not improving in, in my public speech and I'm just going to work on other projects. You don't see all authors showing their work. Now they do say, if you do want to sell your work, you generally have to market it and ride the circuit. So that's a, another thing to consider, but, um, maybe you're not selling your work. Maybe you're just doing the lowest common denominator job, whatever you can get, a labor job or whatever job you can do that pays the bills. And then maybe you're not trying to advance in life too much. Um, why do we have these disabilities? Why are they in our lives? And why are there so many people that don't have a full-blown human life and don't have that ability to do what is considered normal and have a relationship and all of that? Well, who knows? Who knows what it's teaching us? But it's teaching us something. What can we learn from it? That's on you to figure that out. What you, what you can learn with from it, what you can do with it. But just learning to recognize where you are in life and the realities of your situation is an important thing. Like looking at your life without the lens of uh, grandeur, without the lens of delusion, looking at your life and seeing what's really there. Am I confined to the working class for life? Because some people are, you know. Um, and if you make that assumption, you might stop worrying about some obscene thing that would put you into debt, like trying to become a doctor or like uh, trying to become a dancer when your body just doesn't move that way or whatever it is. I'm not saying you should kill your dreams. I'm saying go for the best of dreams, but align your dreams to what you have to work with.